Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the yoga session hosted by Santa Clara County Library. Thank you very much for joining this class this morning. Uh, we will be starting today's class in a seated position. So let's all settle down on our mats in a nice, comfortable cross uh, seated position. Uh, just in case you have any knee issues uh, and if you are unable to sit in a cross leg position, it's okay for you to just extend your legs for now. And we'll just take a couple of minutes to center ourselves. So let's just try to place our hands on top of our knees. And very gently close your eyes. And let's take a moment to connect with our breath. Whatever we have been doing before the class or whatever we plan to do after this class. Very slowly as you breathe in and out, try to set them aside. And allow yourself to have this sacred space to be with yourself. to take care of yourself. By bringing yourself completely into this moment. Understanding and knowing that when you allocate time for your self-care and your well-being, you are able to attend to your other chores, your responsibilities, your family members from a very happy, content place. Tell yourself that you deserve this time. Connect with your sweet bones on the mat and try to relax them. Try to feel a little bit more grounded with each breath in and out. Allow your knees to drop a little closer to the ground by letting go of your inner thighs. Try to drop your shoulders a little closer to the ground. Letting go of any tension you may be holding around that area. Soften all your facial expressions. Keeping our heart and mind open to whatever comes today during the class. Let's try to tell ourselves that we will approach it without judgment towards the self. We will do our best. Very slowly, whenever you're ready, start to open your eyes by first bringing the gaze towards the floor and slowly coming up to eye level. We'll start with the side body stretch today. So let's open up our hands into T-arm position. Let's drop our right palm down 
uh, facing palm facing down towards the ground. And let's rest our right palm down to the ground. Start to bend your right elbow. Gently take your left hand up. And slowly let's start to take the left hand all the way towards the right side. Opening up the left side of the body. Inhale, take both your hands all the way up. Exhale towards the other side. Left hand comes down, bend your elbow. And then let's take our right hand all the way towards the left side. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, let's come into a spinal twist. So take your left hand rested to the outside of your right knee. Take your right hand all the way to the back. Look over your right shoulder. Turn your gaze forward, look forward. Inhale, take both your hands all the way up. Try to bring a gentle smile in your, on your face. And let's take it to the other side. Exhale, right hand to the outside of the left. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. A palms facing forward, we're going to just rest our fingertips down to the ground so the heel of the palm does not touch the ground. Think you're throwing a really a ball, a ball far away from your body. So just throw the ball and rest your fingertips down. I'm going to scoot back a little so you can see. And then let's crawl. Slowly walk your right hand forward. Walk your left hand forward. Walk your right hand forward and walk your left hand forward. Start to connect with your lower back. Some of us might start to feel a little bit stretch around the lower back. Maybe some of us are able to go a little farther away. So let's walk. If you're able to walk your right hand a little bit more and walk your left hand a little bit more. Try to keep space between the chin and the collarbone, which means to say you're not looking into your body like this but you're looking forward towards your fingertips. Relax and breathe. Maybe we can crawl one more time. So don't lift your hips off, right? Press your hips down, but you're feeling a nice stretch in your lower back. And now maybe gently place your palms down, bend your elbows and slowly start to work on bringing your forehead towards the ground. Letting go of your upper body. Sometimes consciously or unconsciously, we hold our body muscles tight and up. Let it go. Let it gravitate towards the ground. Slow, deep, long breaths in and out. From here, slowly lift your head up, take your time. Gently come back onto your fingertips. So don't crawl back suddenly. You're going to also walk back very slowly. So walk your right hand back. Walk your left hand back. Start to connect with your lower back muscles. They're coming back in position. Right. And your left. And take your time wherever you are at your own pace. Bring yourself up into a seated position. Let's take our hands into a V, like as if you're creating a huge V with your body. Let's take our right hand, rest it on top of our left knee. Let's take our left hand, so the palm is resting on the right. We are intersecting at our elbows, right? So the elbows are crossed in front of us. Let's try to round our back now. So all you're going to do is you're going to bring your chin into your collarbone, right? So pushing the center of your spine to the back. So just round your back. Try to push your mid back all the way to the back and start to round your back by tucking your chin into the collarbone. Now, some of you can stay here. Some of you, if you feel you're comfortable, gently start to bend your elbow. So I want you to start, uh, while keeping your chin in a locked position, start to bend your elbows towards the floor, right? Or towards your legs, basically. So you're creating a little bit deeper roundness in your spine. 
from the back of your neck to the tailbone. Gently press on your palms. I want you to bring your chin forward. So if you notice, I'm not sitting up tall like this. I'm kind of leaning into a 45 degree angle forward. And now inhale, take your gaze all the way up. So basically you're doing a cat and cow in a seated position. And exhale, let's try to tuck the chin into the collarbone. Start to push your mid back all the way to the back. And those of you who wish to start to bend your elbows as well. When you, you will notice that when you start to bend your elbows, you will uh, create space between your shoulder blades. You're stretching your shoulders on both sides, right on the right and the left on the left. Lift yourself up. Give that 45 degree angle. So try to lean a little forward and then uh, look towards the ceiling. So all the way up. And last time, let's round our back. Press the center of your spine all the way to the back. Option to bend your elbows. Just try to see where exactly am I feeling this stretch in my back. Is it in the mid back? Is it in my upper back? Lift your head up, lean forward a little bit. And let's take it all the way up. So it's the chin, the chest, your heart is shining up to the ceiling right now. Let's come into a neutral position, which means to say your tailbone, your lower back, your mid back, your neck and the crown of your head, you're aligning straight up your spine, right? Let's take our hands all the way out. Let's rotate our shoulders off a little bit and reverse the direction of the rotation of our shoulders. And let it go. We'll start to get a little deeper into our stretches, also in a seated position for a little bit longer. So you're going to extend your left leg all the way out. Bend your right leg, take the base of your right feet to the inside of the thigh. So simple side body stretch, right? We have all done this many times. The left knee comes down, Dig your heel, flex your feet of your left extended leg. Let's take our hands all the way up. Space between the chin and the collarbone so we never shrug ourselves. You keep your neck and your head in the center nice and relaxed. Simple side body stretch. Left to the left, if your hands touch your toes, that's fine. Shin, thigh is fine too. Just don't press on your kneecap. Wherever your hands touch, let's take the right hand all the way over towards the left side. Bend your left elbow, those of you who are able to, so that your knee rests on top of, uh, the elbow rests on top of your knee. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, let's rest the right hand slightly diagonally towards the right side. Rest your right knee down, lift your hips up, rest your left feet completely down to the ground. Let's take our left hand all the way up. Open up the side body a little bit deeper. Press your left feet firmly into the ground. That becomes your anchor point. It will help you to lift your hips and stretch out the left side a little bit more. And breathe. Start to helicopter your hand. Let's sweep that left hand forward. Start to take it all the way, like a half circle in front of you. Start to dig your heel, flex your feet, and rest your hips down. Take your hands all the way up. Since we transferred the body weight onto our right hand, some of us who have tender wrists might feel it in our wrists. Let's rotate our wrists off a little bit and reverse the direction. If you feel that you need to do a quick massage with your thumb, go ahead and do that. Move your hands a little bit and then extend your legs all the way up and shake it off. Let's extend the right out, bend the left. The base of your feet of your left to the inside of your right thigh. Dig your heel, flex your feet, press your kneecap down. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. 
Head again length from the tailbone to the top of your head. Relax your neck muscles. And exhale, right to the right. Left hand goes all the way over. Option to bend your right elbow so that it can rest on top of your knee. Remember to breathe and relax your jaw. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Let's take our left hand slightly diagonally. Left knee completely down. Press on your left palm and then gently lift your hips up. Right feet completely down. And now take your right hand all the way over towards the left side. Opening up the right side of the body a little bit more deeper. And breathe. So make sure you press your right feet nicely into the ground. It will also stabilize you. And now gently start to helicopter that hand, start to create a semicircle circle in front of you. Dig your heel, flex your feet, rest your hips down. And just quickly, let's rotate that wrist off a little bit. And reverse the direction. Let it go. Shake it off a little bit. Slowly extend your legs. Flex your feet. We'll stretch the lower back out a little bit more by coming into a simple basic forward bend. Those of us who cannot touch our toes, please don't worry about that. That's not our goal to touch our toes. You can just rest your hands next to your body like this and lean forward. Those of us who are able to place on our chin, that's fine too. Those of us who can touch our toes, we'll do that. Make sure you don't bend your knees to touch your toes, right? That's not our goal, that to touch toes, but to feel the stretch at the back of our legs. That's our goal. Take your hands all the way up. Palms facing forward. Remember, lead with your chin and your chest. So don't start to go with your uh, chin into your collarbone. Look forward, lead with your chin, and then wherever your hands touch. Don't worry much about it. And breathe. Those of us who can bend your elbows and start to bring your forehead towards your knee. Try to connect with the back of both your legs. Just two more breaths here. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, circle your hands. Just shake your legs off a little bit. And if you wish to just quickly rotate your shoulders, go ahead and rotate your shoulders as well. We'll take our legs to one side and we'll start with our simple basic cat and cow. So set position. Yes, you can see me. Let's start our toes. So I'll face forward for a second here, just to quickly go over the alignment here. So your wrist is in line with your shoulders. Your knee is in line with your hips. You have space between your thighs, right? And your neck is in line with your spine. So you are in a neutral position. You're not looking up or down. You keep your spine, uh, sorry, the neck in a neutral position and you can relax your toes here. So there's no need to tap your toes right now. You can relax your toes. Ready? Let's begin. Very slowly, as you inhale, start to drop your belly button to the ground. Look towards the ceiling. Exhale, round your back. So I want you to squeeze your belly and try to press your belly button towards your spine. Bring your chin into the collarbone, creating a roundness in your spine. This way, really slowly two times. Inhale, belly button to the ground. Look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your back. So we're going to go really slowly to experience every single muscle around the surrounding the spine. 
Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your back. Let's come into a neutral position. So again, our neck is in line with our spine. We're going to tuck our toes. We're going to just add, uh, use a little bit of balance to engage our core. All we'll do is we'll lift opposite hand and opposite leg off the ground. So lift your left leg off the ground, flex your feet, right? So you're not pointing your toes like that, but you're flexing your feet. Release your right hand off the ground. Hold your core. And breathe. Four. Three. Two. And one. Rest your right hand down. Rest your left leg down. Now relax your toes a little bit and wag your tail. So move your hips from side to side. Come back to the center, tuck your toes. Let's do the opposite side. Start with by lifting your right leg off the ground. Flex your feet. Still okay here? Gently lift your left hand off the ground. And breathe. In order to stay stable in the position, pull the belly button towards your spine and breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Softly place your left hand down, bring your right leg back in position, relax all 10 toes to the ground and wag your tail by moving your hips from side to side. Come back to the center, stay where you are. I'm going to face forward here. Let's start by stepping our right leg forward. Gently step your right leg forward and bring yourself up. We're going to walk our right leg a little, uh, I'm going a little further back so you can see me better. So we're going to walk our right leg a little bit farther away from us. Just try to walk that leg a little bit more far away from you. Take your hands, place it on your hips. And I want you to start your stretch from your lower back, right? So gently start to slowly help yourself push those hips forward. You'll notice that the stretch is also happening on the quads of your left leg from the top of your hip towards the whole quads of your left leg. If you're not feeling anything, that means to say you do have more flexibility and you can walk your right leg a little bit more farther away from you. Right? So you, you do have that range of motion. So don't take it suddenly too far, but slowly crawl forward. And then let's work on pressing our hips. See how that feels. Still okay here? Slowly take your hands all the way up. Let's arch it up. And breathe. Think about your rib cage. Lift it up to the ceiling. The base of your rib cage. Fingertips up. Circle your hands gently. We're going to bring this leg gently back. Actually, let's do one thing. Let's stretch the back of the leg out. So we're going to turn our left leg toes. So start to push your hips back a little bit. And then simply turn your left leg toes inwards like that and then extend your right. So dig your heel, flex your feet off your right. Your right hip joint, your knee and your ankle are in one straight line. The reason I say that always is because we don't want the leg to be away or in like that. We want to keep in alignment, just like how when you stand, uh, your legs are in alignment, you would like to keep it like that for the proper alignment. Flex your feet. Let's take our hands all the way up. Those of us who don't want to go too far, we're going to softly place our hands on our thighs like this, but don't press your upper body weight onto your thighs, just try to lean forward, like how you did earlier on, 45 degree angle. Make sure the knee is pressing down. Those of us who have severe knee issues, we're going to slightly bend our knee, that's fine. Otherwise, try to press it down. This is good for some of us. For some of us, we're going to go a little farther away maybe. Maybe we'll rest it on our shin. Or maybe we'll touch our toes. So don't worry where your hands rest. 
You're going to irrespectively feel the stretch at the back of your leg, which is our goal. Inhale, slowly take your hands all the way up. No rush whatsoever. Gently circle your hands. Let it go. Pull the belly button towards you and then we're going to slowly pull this leg back. But this time bring it a little bit closer to you because earlier we had taken it far away from our body. Slightly bring it closer to you. We're going to bring our left leg. Remember we turn those toes inwards, bring that ankle in line. So the left ankle comes back in line with your knee. Place your hands on either side of your right leg. Release your left knee off the ground. And then gently take that right leg all the way up to the ceiling. So you are in a three-legged dog position. Gently rotate your right ankle. And reverse the direction of the rotation of your ankle. Drop your right leg down and slowly pedal your legs off. So you're just walking the dog. Drop your knees down, bring yourself, walk your hands a little closer to you and this time simply step your left leg forward and bring yourself up. Those of us who have very severe knee issues, you place folded towel and place it below your knee so that way you don't feel, or you can double up your mat. So if you notice I have two mats, right? I have one more below so that way I have enough padding so my knee doesn't hurt or it pokes into the floor or something like that, right? So place a towel or something below your knee, you'll be much, much more comfortable in the position. Let's take our left leg, walk it a little bit forward. Don't go too far in the beginning because you once you go, then it, it's difficult for you to come back also, right? It might hurt you also. So place your hands on your hips and then let's slide our hips. So don't worry about the upper body. Upper body, because it's connected to your lower body, it's going to come forward. But think about your hips right now. And let's start to push, not push, I would not use the word, I'll say guide your hips forward and gently take it forward. So you're feeling okay here? Let's walk that leg. Now increase the range of motion and then see how it feels to stretch a little bit more. Now let's see how we are feeling on top of our right thigh, at the back of our left. How are we feeling in our lower back? Everything okay? Let's take our hands all the way up. Relax your jaw and breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Take your fingertips up first. Gently circle your hands. And now start to push your hips back a little bit. So earlier we had guided them forward. You're going to take it a little bit back. Take your right leg toes, turn it inwards. Keep your toes tight. It will help you to be in balance. And then extend your leg out. Once you extend your leg out, your hip, knee and ankle are in one straight line. Your toes are flexed towards your body. Those of you who feel super stable here, now if you wish to, you can relax your toes. It's optional. Or you can keep it tight the whole time. Option to keep your hands on your thigh to lean forward or let's take our hands up. Relax your shoulders and your neck, so no tension there. Wherever your hands touch, doesn't matter. Toes, shin, thigh, whatever is the best that works for us today. Make sure you don't pop your knee up unless you have knee issues and you're not able to keep your legs straight. Just two more breaths. 
Let's feel the stretch of the back of our legs really well. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, circle your hands. Hold your core tight so you'll feel stable. Tuck your toes at the back so you won't lose your balance and then bring that leg back. Bring your right leg back in position. Ankle in line with your right knee. Place your hands on either side of your left leg. Release your right knee off the ground. Let's take our left leg all the way up. Three leg and top. Gently rotate your ankle. Reverse the direction of the rotation of your left ankle. Drop your leg down and slowly walk the dog. Pedal your legs off. Start to walk your hands back towards your feet. So you'll end up at the back of your mat in a forward bend position. Don't worry if your fingertips are not touching the ground. Inhale, halfway up. Upper body parallel to the ground. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, full forward bend. Stay. Bend your knees a lot. Press your belly into your thighs. Sit down a lot. Fly your hands to the side with your palms facing up to the ceiling. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Interlock your hands, press the heel of the palm up. Widen your stand out a little bit. We're going to just open up the side body a little bit more. Simply take your hands all the way towards your right side. That feels good now. And breathe. Come back to the center. And let's take it towards the other side. And come back to the center. Release your hands. Gently rotate your shoulders. And reverse the direction of the rotation of your shoulders. And let it go. Shake it off a little bit. So we'll start with a very small basic sequence. We'll step, keep our right leg forward. And let's take our left leg to the back. I'm going to just adjust the camera today. I think my mat is a bit off. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So let's keep our right leg forward. Let's take our left leg to the back. Simple warrior feet position. For better view, I'm going to turn. You don't have to. And then we're going to bend our right leg like this. So the knee comes in line with our ankle. Back feet is completely down to the ground. Now we want to angle. So if you notice, my left hip is now turned towards the left side, right? So it's not facing forward, but I want to angle to the front leg. So let's turn our toes, adjust our toes. So now I'm able to completely face my hip points and my shoulders towards my right leg. Right? Let's arch up our back. Inhale, come into a simple warrior position. And breathe. Just a couple of more breaths here. Gently transition into warrior two. Now, if you feel confident and you're feeling kind of okay, you can widen the distance between your legs. So you can slowly walk your back leg a little bit more away from you. And then you can start to sit into the position like that. So initially we had a short distance between our legs, but now we maybe we are feeling a little bit more open and confident, right? So let's come a little bit wider, those of us who are able to do it. And breathe. I'm going to do two variations of extended side angle here. So the first one would be just rest your right hand on top of your right thigh, and you're going to take your left hand up like that. Let's stay here for now, right? Those of us who want to, you can slowly take your hand, rest it down to the ground like this. Now, if you're not able to place your hand down, you can use a block and rest your hand like that, right? So if you have a block, go ahead and use that. If your hand is not resting to the ground, and stay. And breathe. Pull the belly button towards you, back toward your two. You're going to allow the knee, the front knee, to go over the ankle. So let go of your left hand on the outside of the thigh. Palm facing up to the ceiling. 
Now let's, as if you were giving, offering something to somebody, right? So just go ahead and reach forward like that. So the knee does go over your ankle now. Don't take your knee back when you take your hand back. So the knee goes forward, your hand goes back. So don't do this, right? I want you to keep your leg like that. Just take your hand all the way to the back. And in fact, do the opposite. I want you to sit into the position more. And breathe. Now the out, in, outer edge of your left leg, so don't peel it off like that. I want you to keep it down completely. So you're feeling good stretch in both your inner thighs. Pull the belly button towards your back to warrior two. Your knee has come back in line with your ankle. Gently drop your hands down. Straighten your knee, give a break to that leg. Now, gently work on, if you need to walk that leg a little closer, go ahead and do that. Slowly release, come onto the ball of the feet of that leg. Place your hands on either side of your right leg. If you feel the distance between your legs is a bit too wide because you did increase the distance, hop that leg a little closer for better uh, grounding and then take your right leg all the way up. Slow rotation of your right ankle and reverse the direction of the rotation of your ankle. Drop your leg down and pedal your legs off. Drop your knees down. Let's just stretch out the lower back a little bit. So take your legs as wide as your mat. Allow your big toes to touch each other. Relax your toenails to the ground. Push your hips back. Just take a break, let it go. Very slowly lift yourself up. Place your hands in front of you, shoulder width apart. Walk your legs towards you, like you would almost be like how you are in a cat and cow position. Lift your hips up. So you're in downward dog. This time, I want you to walk your hand, feet towards your hands, right? So left leg walks forward, right leg walks forward, left leg and right leg. End up in a forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, halfway. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, stay. Bend your knees a lot. Press your belly into your thighs. Fly your hands to the side. Take your hands all the way up. Interlock your hands. Press the heel of the palm. Widen your stand. We'll start with the Left side, always uh, when you come up, make sure your neck muscles are relaxed. You're not like tensing up any part of the body. There is a lot of openness. Even though your head is in the center, it's not on the side, but there is space for your head to move, right? And then let's take it towards the left side. Come back to the center. Take it towards the other side. And come back to the center. Release your hands, rotate your shoulders, and reverse. Let it go. Shake it off. Shake your legs off a little bit and shake your hands off a little bit. All right, let's start with the other side. Left forward, right goes back. I'm going to face this way this time. And then remember the first time, let's keep our, the distance between our legs a little bit short. So you can hop that leg. Face your hip points and your shoulders forward and then bend your knee. So don't, you don't have to increase the distance right now. Let's just work on the lower back and flexibility of the spine there. Inhale, take your hands all the way up, arch it up. Four. Three, two, and one. Gently lift your head up, fingertips up. Transition into warrior two, and now you can widen. So you can slowly start to take that right leg back. Make sure your knee stays in line with your ankle. 
gaze towards your left hand, transitioning into extended side angle. Option to rest your hand on top of your thigh, take your hand up, or option to place a block and rest your hand. Actually, let's keep it up here. Or an option to rest your hand down completely and take your hand up. And breathe. Four. Three. Two. And one. Pull the belly button towards you. Take your time. Come back to warrior two. Your knee was in line with your ankle the whole time. Let go of your right hand. Left palm flips. Let's sit into the position. Go, do the best you can. Make sure you don't do this, right? I want you to press that outer edge firmly to the ground and then go. Don't take your knee back with you as well. Just take your hand back. And now sit a little bit more. Pull the belly button towards you. Bring your knee in line with your ankle. Straighten that knee. Drop your hands down. Take a break. Give a break to that thigh. When you feel ready, slowly you can walk that leg a little closer because we did increase the distance and then come onto the ball of the feet of your right. Place your hands on either side of your left leg. Gently take your left leg all the way up. Slowly rotate your ankle. And reverse the direction of the rotation of your ankle. Drop your leg down and pedal your legs off. Just walk the dog. From here, I'm going to face forward. Stay where you are in your downward dog. We're going to walk our left leg out towards the left edge of the mat. We're going to walk our right leg to the right edge of our mat. Right? Very slowly start to walk your hands back towards your body. Come into a squat and bring your hands to the heart center. Inhale, bring yourself all the way up. Exhale and squat. Inhale, up. Exhale, squat. Two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, squat. Last one. Inhale, up, stay, widen your stand. We're going to play our free feet, which means to say heels inward, toes outward, like that. Right? Only bend your knees and see, don't uh, uh, come down completely. I want you to slightly bend your knees like that and up. Slightly and up. Open up your hands. Hold a tray, so your fingers are pointing outward. You're going to bend your elbows. So you're going to sit down, sit down, and up, lift it up. Down, and up. Down, and up. Last time, and up. Only release your hands, keep your legs just the way they are. Remember, we took a feet into play, right? Now point your toes forward. So your uh, toes are point, pointing to the front of your room, not to the side. Right stays on the outside of the right, left on the outside of the left. Those of you who have the range of motion and wish to widen your stand out a little bit more here. So we'll do two positions here. The first one would be we're going to turn our toes out only of one leg. So take your heel. Lift your hand, uh, five toes off the ground and let's point the right leg toes out towards the right side. But remember this time we are not in warrior feet position but we have both our knees locked. Take your hands into warrior two arms, only the arms, right? 
And let's take our right hand to the inside. So you are pushing your left hip out. Don't worry because we have a wide distance between our legs today. We are not going to be completely able to go down maybe, right? It's okay wherever you go. Maybe your hands touch the ground. Maybe not. It's okay. Don't worry about it. And breathe. Make sure you don't bend your right knee. So you're not going into warrior two and a variation of extended side angle, which you did earlier on, but you are in a triangle position. And breathe. Pull the belly button towards you. Warrior two arms. Warrior two position to give a break to the knee. Lock the knees, drop your hands down, dig your heel of your right, turn your toes facing forward. Now, if you felt the distance between your legs was a bit too much for you, shorten the distance now, if you feel that you need to do that, right? Those of us who don't need to, that's okay. Dig your heel, turn your toes out. No bend in the left knee. Warrior two arms. Start by pushing your hip out. So start like that. But don't go nose down, right? You want to keep your arms straight as well. And then slowly start to go. Wherever your hands touch, maybe on the ankle, maybe here, maybe here, doesn't matter. Don't bend your knee, that's all. And then if your hands touch the ground, that's fine. Pull the belly button towards you, come back. Warrior two, bend your knee. Release, drop your hands down, dig your heel of your left, point your toes facing forward, heel toe yourself. So press on your heel and your toe alternatively. So you're going to do that and come back to the center and release it off. Shake it off a little bit. We'll just do one exercise to open up our hips a little bit more. Although a lot of exercises did involve the working, strengthening our hip joints today, let's start a little bit more. So press your right feet down to the ground and slowly only, so let's place our hands on our hips. Don't worry about lifting it all the way up, just slightly. If you feel confident, you can slowly lift it up. Those of us who are losing our position for any reason, you're going to tap and lift, tap and lift. Those of us who can hold, hold it up. Bring your knee in line with your hip, which means to say it's not dropping down like this, right? So keep it up and flex your feet so your toes are not pointed. Open and back, lift. Open and back. Open and back. Last time, open and back, lift, hold. Four. Three, two, and one. Softly place that left leg down, but shake your right leg off the ground a little bit. And let's transfer the body weight onto the base of the feet of the left this time. So sometimes what happens is we kind of, because we are transferring the body weight, we start to curl our toes. Open those toes and then nicely place it down. So your feet is completely pressing and giving you the required support. And then lift your right heel off the ground. Again, because some of us are more stronger on the right side and some on the left side, obviously balance will be different on both sides, right? So maybe you can test it and rest and test it. Those of us who are able to lift it up, flex your feet, bring your knee in line with your hip. Open, rotate, and up, out, and back. Last time, and up, hold. Four, three, two, and one. Softly, gracefully place it down. 
Check your left leg off a little bit more than your right. Keep your legs a little bit more wider than the distance of your hips, slightly wider. Open up your hands into T-arm position. Let's take our right hand below, stack up your left on the top, elbow stacked up, interlock your hands. Eagle arm position. Those of us who find this very difficult for any reason, you can just cross your arms like this. That's good. Those of you who are able to wrap it up, just wrap it up. And breathe. Lift your elbows up. I'm going to go side so you can see me better. So you're going to lift your elbows up like this and you're going to push your elbows away from you. You're going to feel it in your upper back muscles. And breathe. Lift your ten toes off the ground. Pull the belly button towards you. Slowly come into a squat. So you're coming into a chair variation with eagle arms. And up. Now press your ten toes down. Down. And up. Down. And up. Last time. And up, stay. Open up your hands. Press those hands all the way out. Take your left hand below, right on the top. Eagle arms. Elbows pressed away from you. And up, both. Let's stay hip width, a little bit wider than the distance of your hips. Lift your ten toes off for a second. Press it down, spread those toes out, down, go deeper now, and up, down, and up, two more, and up, last time, and up, release your hands, press, and rotate your shoulders off. This works both the arms and the legs at the same time and reverse. Let's stretch out those hands a little bit. Open up your hands. A heel of your palm pressing out, fingers pointing down. Let's stretch it out. And up. And let's uh, knuckles facing forward. Press your wrist up. Up, down, turn, knuckles out, wrist away from you. Release your hands, make a little flower bud of your hands. Place your fingertips on top of your shoulders. Elbows, touch, up, open, and touch. Up, open, and touch. Stay, in, and rotate. This way. And slide. Let's come down to the mat. Let's massage the back a little bit. So lie down on your back. And bring your knees along with you into your chest. Place your hands on top of your kneecaps and let's massage the back. Draw circles by rotating your knees and touching the four corners around the lower back. And reverse. Stay fully connected with your lower back. Drop your feet down into bridge position feet. Your thighs are not hugging each other. Hands resting next to your body. Let's begin. Slowly start to release your lower back or your mid back. Lift your belly button up.
Slowly start to bring your shoulder blades down, your mid back, your lower back, and your tailbone. Bring your knees into your chest, flex your feet, open your hands into T arm position. Drop both your knees towards your right side, spinal twist. Pull the belly button towards you, bring your knees back to the center and let's take it to the other side. Make sure your legs are resting down, they're not hanging up in the air, if you put too much pressure on your lower back. Rest it wherever it touches the ground. Pull the belly button towards you, support your lower back and then come back to the center. Place your hands on top of your kneecaps, draw circles to massage the back one more time and reverse. Extend your legs, reach your hands over your head and let's give one full body stretch. Fingertips and toes being stretched. And release. Open your hands, open your legs. Shavasana, find a resting position. Bring your awareness back to your breath. Start to deep with your breath. With each breath in, energizing every single cell of your body. each breath out, letting go of anything that does not serve you today. Bend both your knees and turn your body to the right side. Take the support of your hands and make your way up into a seated position with your eyes closed. Bringing your hands to the heart center with the thumb touching the heart center. If you wish to make it small prayer for your loved ones in the world around you, you may do that at this time. Very slowly begin to open your eyes by first bringing the gaze towards the floor and slowly coming up to eye level. Let's all take a bow together and say Namaste. Thank you very much for joining the class today. I'll see you all next Tuesday. Thank you.